think these are look at the way they jiggle. Nick, every time she moves, look at them big ass smokers. I don't do none of that. I be vibing. I just be tapping. I just be vibing. I don't smoke with them. Soul, I ain't in the street. I don't get No lie to be real Small business, I don't sell drugs To be honest, I'm pretty established We doing drug removal, selling seat malls That's the way that I'm making this cabbage I don't know nothing these people be talking Alright, so look Let me get ready to watch this next one Alright so the next video we about to watch is this, right? I want to see about this. I haven't heard of this content creator before, but they came across my timeline, Milo or Milo. And this says, why I stopped watching masculine content. Now, y'all already know the reason why we have to watch this because I stopped watching all of that stuff too. And not necessarily masculine content. I'm cool with the self-improvement, you know what I'm saying, part of the red pill. But I just... Gay. I, I'm not gay. Yo, do you need some money? <laughs> There's no way, yo. Let N nigga. So look, we gonna watch the video by Milo Milo. Why I stop watching masculine content? Cause y'all ain't shut going your fat ass up. See, so yeah, y'all just not gonna let me. We just, you know what, man? Shut your fat ass up, yo. I wasn't even talking. Let's watch the video. Niggas, Do you need some money? I could use it. I could. Yo, RJ, I'm thinking for the 320 bits. Do you need some money? Do y'all? Yes. I. Who can't? Who? Who don't need money? Thank you, though, nigga. Why? Do you need some money? There's no way y'all are serious right now, bro. There's no way y'all are serious. Yo, what up? What up, King Kingston City? What up, bro? I was saying, thinking for the 100 bits too, my nigga. Well, what color is your baguette? Andrew Tate, Tristan Tate, Hamza, and Fresh and Fish. I've never watched Hamza's content or Hamza, so I don't really know too much about his. Back in my heyday of self-improving myself, I'd watch these creators and other creators in the masculinity space. Draco the Realist said when uh, Quan said on the stream once that uh, that red pill shit made him hate women and made it harder to get women, I realized I was doing the same thing. Never texting back, uh, stop shooting my shot and all that. Definitely was a good wake-up call. Exactly, bro. But like with me, like I told you, I'm used to getting women the way I'm used to getting them. Then all of a sudden, I'm listening to this red pill shit, and I'm just like, what the hell is gay? <laughs> Dog, with nigga, that, look, bro, yo, bro. Like I was saying, man, y'all gonna keep throwing me off with this shit, bro. Man, look, I don't even remember. Man, look, bro. Face of the internet every day. Yes. Some more than Shut others. Shut your fat ass up. Mm. Nobody's even fat on the screen. Mm. These creators taught me things about fuck? life and about hard work. Lessons that I couldn't learn anywhere else on the internet. These creators really gave me hope that if I worked hard every day and did as God would like best, that I'd have nothing but blessings coming my way. Now, like I said, that's the way. <laughs> Y'all gotta chill. All right, just, just give it a break for like a second. But that, that's the reason why I told y'all I was really on that red pill shit because I kept seeing the stuff about self-improvement. It's just I did go into that rabbit hole of that toxic masculinity shit. I do think toxic masculinity is cool at times. Like, it's needed. But I'm just saying, certain things, it was like, damn, bro. Like I said, it's certain niggas I got to mute on platforms that I follow because... It's just nothing. Women this. Women that. Women are bad. Women ain't. They're not. They, no, she's delusional. They, like, nigga, what the fuck? I've never used the word delusional as much as I did when I started watching Red Pill content. Never used that word like that, bro. Nigga. Masculinity. Femininity. All of this other shit. Feminism. Everything, bro. The, the S word that we not allowed to say. Tier three and shit. Like, bro. This shit been going crazy. Shooter Joba said, Myron been losing it on Twitter lately. I ain't gonna hold you. I had to mute my nigga Myron. I told I but I told y'all why. Like, y'all fuck with Myron. Myron, you my nigga. But I just had to mute you because my nigga. I just got tired of seeing that shit, bro. 
Like for real. I know he probably get tired of seeing me say wild shit. Nigga probably got me muted. But I'm just saying, bro. Yeah, it was just too much shit that I'm just like, damn, nigga. Like if you type women on certain niggas pages, you'll see it's normal shit. You know what I'm saying? Every now and then, like just normal, regular shit about women. But like that nigga Myron, bro. Like I, bro. Myron is a nigga. He definitely advocates for men to be good to good women. I will always say that. But if you a nigga that's not getting women, if you listen to that nigga, do you need some money? DSG and Gizzle streaming at the same time is diabolical. Yo, I ain't even know my nigga Gizzle was streaming. Shout out to my nigga Gizzle. But um, if you listen to Myron and you a neon, I ain't gonna lie, it'll definitely make you hate women. Cause just imagine you don't know what women are like and you over there, nah, these these women are delusional. They're this, they're that. And how the fuck would you know? Wait. If I work hard enough, I could not fail. With that being said, I do think that in most cases, watching these type of content creators and these type of videos can be pretty cringe sometimes. I would have their content served to me on every platform I went on. But now, if you were to check my phone, creators like Hamza, Andrew Tate, and... Nigga, did I just see Roblox sex? What the... Nigga, what the fuck? I'm tripping or did that shit say Roblox sex? The platform I went on. But now... If you were to check my Roblox sex, what the fuck is what the fuck is Roblox sex? N nigga, yo, yo, Junior the Weirdo said my ex broke up with me when I started going hard into that red pill shit, and uh, girls wouldn't talk to me. I'm happy I was Damn. able to get up. <laughs> gay. He didn't say he was happy he was gay. I was reading the shit, nigga. If y'all don't. Nigga, stop, bruh. DSG, chill, bro. Chill for a fucking second, nigga. Shit, man. <laughs> you got me with that one, though. Nigga, the nigga said I was happy uh, to get out of that shit early. Nah, no bullshit, bro. Like I'm, like I'm trying to tell niggas, man, when it comes to that red pill content, don't watch uh, anything to do with women when it comes to the red pill content. Only watch the shit to self-improve. Gay. There's nothing gay about self-improvement. But that red pill shit will have you starting to hate women. I'm not going to lie, bro. My phone, creators like Hamza, Andrew Tate, and Fresh and Fit are it completely will have absent hate. from me. And then, and then that predatory ass mindset, that whole there's, a, there's another girl turning 19 every day. I don't give a fuck what any of these niggas got to say. Oh, man, just as men, we like younger women. Nah, not every man out there. And secondly, that is... So predatory because a lot of y'all niggas do that shit because y'all know damn well y'all trying to manipulate these women and y'all know y'all can't manipulate an older woman. They they try to disguise it as, oh, older women are setting their ways. They're going to be combative and argumentative. And, no, not all of them. No, they know how to be submissive and all other shit. It's just that you can't trick them the way you could trick a 19-year-old. On my social media feeds. But to be fair, Fresh and Fit weren't even in my feeds in the first place. Why did I stop watching this content? Well, for one... Actually, I said, uh, I always liked older women. I can imagine uh, tr uh, trying to get with a teenager because it's legal. You you, meant you can't imagine. See what I'm saying? But Mighty Flamey said, no, nah, that shit is weird as hell. Facts, bro. Uh, the coffee bro said, uh, brewery said uh, I prefer older women. I don't have time uh, and neither do they. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, the thing is this. As a 34-year-old man, even trying to talk to girls to be like 25, bro... I'm like, yo, you see the huge difference in the dynamic, bro. It's like, what the fuck, bro? You start talking to them and they kind of sound fucking stupid. And then under 25? Oh, fuck no. These bitches be sounding so goddamn retarded. Oh, I want to go somewhere where it's lit. I got a few lights on my streaming setup. Like, what you mean? I got the Elgato key light. It's, it's, it's kind of lit in here. No, like lit. What? Like, bro, that shit is just crazy. Bitches, cap. If I'm with a bitch and this bitch say cap on, on God, man, come on, bro. I idolize these creators to an unhealthy degree, except Fresh and Fit. Bruh. When I used to watch- There's no way this nigga Dark Deity said this, bro. I, I was cool with the first part. Nigga said the only red pill content you should pay attention to is self-improvement, dicks maxing, and black Bible futa. Gay. That was actually perfect. Because what the fuck did this nigga just say? Shut bro? your fat ass up! <laughs> so he didn't say that. But Black Bible Futa is crazy. It, yeah. <laughs> Chill, nigga. This type of content, I would agree with like 99% of the things that he said. There's nothing... 
Uh, the coffee brewery said, uh, turning 30 this year, Daquan, any tips on 30 year old lifestyle? Uh, keep yourself healthy in order to retain your youth. Like as I'm getting older, I'm able to do more things than I was able to do in my twenties. Not because I've awarded myself the freedom to do so, but because I'm healthy enough to do these things. So yes, just take really good care of yourself to retain your youth. Yo, I saw you were on stream and I just wanted to show appreciation, man. At the end of last year, I was mm -hmm. 270, and I am now 230. I have better habits than ever and am much more aware. One of your streams pushed me to that randomly at 5 in the morning, Will. Hey, that's gay. <laughs> nah, bro, there's no way. There's no way, bro. There's n I wasn't going to say that. Bro, if y'all niggas don't stop... Like, hard already, nigga, chill the fuck out, bruh. God damn, nigga. Hard already, chill, nigga. nigga. Somebody clip that. Can somebody please clip that, though? What the hell, bro? Nigga. What I meant to say is, yo, um, nigga, cause nigga threw me some money. Nigga threw me Perfect off, bruh. <laughs> nigga threw me off, man. Shit. Bro, that was, that timing was, like, impeccable. I can't even hold you. Nah, but, um, nah, what I was gonna say is, that's what's up, though, bro. Nigga, congrats on that weight loss. You know what I'm saying? And I'm glad that you was able to tune into the stream and get inspired by it, bro. Keep it up. Whatever it is that you're doing. Losing 40 pounds, keep that shit up, bro. But just be aware of this. Don't, um, lose the weight too fast. Because it will come back very fast. Don't get it twisted. As fast as you lose it, It'll come back even faster, depending on if you lose Shut it. Shut your fat ass up. <laughs> Yo, come on, man. I'm never going to be able to be serious with these sound effects. I know it. I'm never going to be able to be serious anymore, bro. But look, man, just uh, don't lose weight too fast because it'll be easy to come back, bro. Just know that. Lose only about 1% of your body weight weekly. If you lose a about that much, you'll be fine to where it'll stay off. If not, one cheap meal can bring almost all that weight back. A lot of people do it just like when people go on like water fast and shit like that. Oh, I'm going to go on a water fast for three days. And then after three days, I lost 10 pounds and they gained 11 on the fourth day because they ate, they ate again. So yeah, just be mindful of that. That God hates more than sloth and laziness. If God were to create a man and that man were to sit around and do fuck Let all, God will go. frown upon you. It's why you're never lucky. Start to work. Start to show God the beauty of his own creations. You'd be amazed how lucky you'll become. I believe you. But at the same time, no bullshit, bro. See, that's the thing about like certain niggas and shit they preach and shit like that. My nigga, you really can't just be preaching some shit like that when you know you got rich off of girls doing webcam gay that's not gay that's it's not gay but um but you can't you can't really just be preaching that type of shit talking about blessings when you took advantage of sexless men you know what i'm saying you gotta really think about that that's exactly what you did like look andrew tate at the end of the day i fuck with this nigga right you know what i'm saying the shit he says about self-improvement but there's certain things that it's like come on my nigga you gotta really think about what you done really did out here bro but that 1% of things that I disagreed with? I'm telling you, if you're a woman, the smartest thing you can do is look after your man, make him not want to cheat, be perfect. But there's going to be a time across a 20-year marriage you might just need to be a little bit blind. All right, so, so that's what I'm saying about, like, Andrew Tate. He has a lot of good tips even on masculinity and uh, relationships, too. But it's this type of advice that you got to take with a grain of salt and understand, all right, look, not every man cheats. But this right here with this mentality that he preaches, I mean, with this, if you go through life with this mentality, if you a man that you were the type to stick with one woman, you may start thinking, well, I'm a man. Nah, as a man, we just don't naturally stick to one woman. Guess what? When I went down that red pill rabbit hole, that's exactly what I said too. I'm a nigga that's cheated a lot. I ain't gonna act like I didn't, you know what I'm saying? But that, that don't mean that I can't stick with one woman. You feel me? But I did cheat a lot before, but that was because in my, in my last relationship, I hated her. The other relationship, I was 19 years old. I don't know what made this girl think you can tie down a fucking uh, a 19 year old. That, that just wasn't going to happen. But yeah. A little bit. Just a tiny bit. Just don't look at his phone. Deep down, I knew I disagreed with them, but I idolized them so much that I suppressed any sort of objections I had on their philosophy. If you watch this type of content and you. In June said, uh, keeping a hundred. Who don't mind cuffing Britney Renner? The thing is, niggas like lying. 
So you got to think about this. There's a lot of niggas in who don't get no bitches. And y'all can be real with yourselves because y'all know damn well y'all have told me this shit. Y'all would cuff Brittany Renner. If that bitch was to give it up to you right now, you folding immediately. But a lot of y'all niggas want to lie. Oh, no, she's a hoe. You never gotten a hoe ever. You never even got one. Of course you're going to fold for You're going to fold and cuff her. Like niggas be lying. They just love lying. No, man, she'll trap me. You don't have nothing to trap. You are broke. What do you have to trap? Oh, man, she's a gold digger. You ain't got no gold for her to dig for. Like, the fuck? Gay. <laughs> Bro, chill, man. Dog, your heart already. That's, I can tell that's obviously your favorite one you like using, bro. <laughs> That's a fair one, bro. I can tell, my nigga. But nah, no bullshit, though. A lot of niggas are cuffed ready runner. They just want to lie about it, bro. Think about this, right? A lot of y'all niggas, if you never even got a girl in general, you probably a cuff her ass. Secondly, if you have gotten girls, but you never got a bad bitch, a bitch that look as good as her, then I and I got news for you. That means you're gay. I had hoes and still a cuff her. I'm a be the gold digger she eyed. Bro, the timing on these is crazy. The timing on these is crazy, bro. The time on he's crazy. <laughs> yo, yo, bro. All right, man. Yo, yeah. I, I don't know if I'm at because like y'all gonna keep throwing me off every time I'm supposed to talk about something. Y'all, okay, man. You know what, man? Look, I, I was saying a lot of niggas are cuff Britney Renner, but they'll lie about it. You feel me? There you go, man. You watch these separate creators and see your life improving for the better. You see yourself changing for the better. Don't do what I used to do and just blindly agree to everything they say. Like, 100% everything they say. Like, don't be afraid to disagree with them sometimes. What don't up, Boogie Man? idolize them. Don't see them as I know superior Axel to you. Like, <laughs> bro, have enough self-respect to think for yourself sometimes, you know? But, most importantly, don't buy into their courses. You are a Game. scammer. If I if this if that had paused it, this nigga, soon as that nigga said you are, yo, bro, I don't know how these time, I don't know how to. Okay. Remember to Pookie Max and if Ace starts <laughs> holding you accountable, that means what you are fuck, succeeding nigga. in life. There is a lot of men if who would cut Ms. Renner. They just don't want to be honest about what? it. I, Only thing she gonna dig is my gooch. Gay. No, okay, Brittany Renner hitting your gooch is not gay, but it, you know. Gay. You know what, man? You know what, bro? You know what, DSG? You know what, man? Y'all, I just, I gotta let y'all rock out with it. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. I, I put these up here for a reason, and y'all, y'all, y'all are definitely taking advantage of them. Like straight up, I just play now. Don't I, trust. Shut me. the fuck up! <laughs> I didn't even get a chance to say what I was about to say. I was gonna say, nigga. Everybody really thought that was Andrew Tate. That was not Andrew Tate, bro. That's you need some money. This my last one. I had RJM. All right, bro. Nah, but uh. Gay. Nigga. I'm. Nigga. Yo, chill. Because I. Nigga. Man, bro. I don't even know what to say because y'all gonna keep doing shit like that and. You know what I'm saying? Making it seem like I'm saying some shit I'm not saying. Chill, y'all. Like straight up, I just play now. Don't trust these guys who sell courses. I just think what they sell is too good to actually be true. But here's another important thing. Something that most people on the internet don't realize is that most Gay. people who fall. <laughs> Something that people don't realize. Gay. Dog. What? Yo, I. Right. Yo, y'all gotta chill. Just give it a second. Yo, y'all, we gotta have like a, a timeout period, like a cool out period. Bro, let's at least go one minute in this video chilling, bro. Just just one minute. A DSG minute is like five, but just go like, we had two minutes and 48 seconds. At least let us get to like, uh, like four minutes. Shut your fat ass up. Well, never mind. Never mind. Uh, you know what I'm saying? But if we can get to at least three minutes before, I mean, four minutes before the next one. All of these separate creators have yet to spend a single dime on them. Like, for example, me, to this day, I still have yet to spend a single dime on these bogus courses or... I'm not gonna hold you. There would never be a time in my life... Gay. A nigga. Dog, what? Man. There will never be a time in my life when I'm buying a nigga's course. Depending on what it is, though, right? If you're going to sell a course on how to make money, invest, things like that, I'm cool with that. I'm not going to hold y'all. There would never be a time in my life where I would buy a dating course. 
All you have to do is go out there and experience women. I promise you, you don't need a fucking dating course. I would never do some shit like that. There's certain things, like I said, that I wouldn't mind buying as far as if it's about money and ways that I can increase my income. But if it's about getting women, I'd much rather just get out there in the field and learn myself. Private communities. Unless you're just a global sheep D1 glazer who blindly follows every single little thing they say, who defends the business model of these courses. Draco the ruler said, what about Austin Dunham uh, Digital Romeo? Do you need some money? This gonna be a financially good year for Daquan. Because of y'all niggas with, with these sounds now, bro. Nah, so uh, Austin Dunham, I expect niggas who don't get women at all to do shit like that. Why would I buy Austin Dunham's Digital Romeo shit when I don't need it? I ain't gay. I ain't gay, but I'm just saying, like, you you have, can you just, like, nigga, stop. Just stop for a second. Shit, man, I ain't gay, but look, man, um, like, I, I don't need that type of shit, bro. Austin Dunham, he's doing, like, his, his Digital Romeo course is probably a thing that a lot of Where's niggas may the need, Where's words Yo, Trini still thinking for the 14 months had to re-up. Nah, man, yo, thank you, my nigga. Appreciate you, bro. But yeah, it's just um. <clears throat> you know what are I people in real life for? sleeping with someone like you? <laughs> you might have to hold them accountable for that. But look, with Austin Dunham, I would expect niggas who ain't getting women to try shit like that, or they're trying to get more because you try to learn from a nigga who's getting them. But the thing is, bro, I'm not that type. I didn't grow up on the internet. Why do I need to learn how to be a digital Romeo? We're in the digital age, a digital era right now. But at the end of the day. My nigga, I'm still able to just get girls in real life, in person. I don't have to rely on social media. The Digital Romeo course is for niggas who have to rely on it. Gay. There's nothing gay about that. There's nothing gay about that, bro. But, um, yeah, that, that's for niggas who have to rely on it. I don't have to rely on that. So, uh, yeah. This is like their PR team. There's absolutely no reason you should be buying into these courses. Like there is nothing that you can learn in these courses that you can't learn on the internet. Like I said, to this day, I haven't spent a single penny on these courses, on these workout plans. Yeah. I so I will never deter people from, uh, you know what I'm saying? I I'll never try to down another man so people don't get money. You see, I'm not saying I'm a gay. <laughs> Yo, man. Yo, like you need some money. Man, it's been a minute since I've been girl. in here. Happy to see the character development, Quan. Uh, thank you, the reverse Quan. Thank you, bro. You're hard and ready. My nigga, you, you gotta chill, bro. Yo, like I was saying, I would never deter y'all from, you know what I'm saying, buying into these courses so these people make money. I'm not the type of person that's going to hate on these dudes. Like I said, with Austin Dunham's course, I expect men out there... Gay. I expect men out there, right, that um, if they want to, you know, learn, y'all ain't going, man, you know what, man? I learned so much from these people, again, without spending you know what, a single dime on them. Oh my god, Milo, how could he be you know endorsing what, these horrible gay. people, these- Highly horrible gay. Yo, yo, just stop for like a second, yo, my nigga, DSG, I said at 2 minutes and 48 seconds, let's wait a minute, it's 3 minutes and 25 seconds, y'all ain't even get it to 4 minutes? Nigga, we have 35 more seconds to go. Just wait. These misogynists, these, these criminals. Mama, I'm a criminal. They, they gotta chill. <laughs> they gotta How chill. How dare them. you? What the fuck? Did he hear a fucking word I said? I ain't endorsing They gotta chill. Alright, whether you agree with me or not, that's your call to make. Just don't be those guys who make masculinity their whole gay. person. Make masculinity gay? You see what I was... Yo, you having too much fun right now, Hard Freddy. You having way too much fun, bro. Nally. Chill, you know, man. Don't watch I had all these things go cringe for red time. pill YouTubers. Like, the words sexist and misogynist have lost all meaning, especially when talking about masculine content. But they there really are have. a few masculinity YouTubers who are just straight up sexist and insecure. Like, straight up. They just... See, and that's the reason why I had to chill on the red pill content, because I started realizing a lot of these niggas, I ain't gonna lie, if they don't hate women, they'll damn sure make you do it. Are. They're far in between, but there's still some of them that are insecure as f Have some self-awareness and uh, please, for the love of God, Hard already you having too much videos. fun, bro. Another reason I stopped watching masculine content, I spent so much time watching this content, so much time learning about discipline and hard work, that I spend more time on my ass listening to these podcasts, Rather listening to these videos, instead of actually getting shit done. And even See, that's the problem, bro.
because you sat on your ass rather than you doing something and listening to it. Like with me, with this type of content, I'm only listening to it while I'm doing stuff. That's why I have one of uh, my YouTubes on the, um, on my other my main channel. That I use that YouTube for uh, just to listen to things and stuff like that. Anything with self-improvement, battle rap, whatever it may be. And I always put it up and then just listen to it while I'm doing something. But yeah, I, there's no way I could just sit there like this and just watch something. Unless I'm eating, obviously, but I'm still doing something at the end of the day. I can't just sit down. Like, there would be no way. Like, the way I'm reacting to shit, there's no way in this possible world, bro, that I'd be able to sit at my computer and watch videos and just sit here like this. A videos on self-improvement, I'm just sitting here like this. Oh, man, I should try that. No. Nigga, I'm doing stuff, bro. Send that bread, my nigga. <laughs> what bread? What bread, Thought Sweeper? What bread, my nigga? Hold on. Blossom said Chad is definitely not, not going to chill out through the whole stream because of these damn things. I know, I know. Uh, Rory said, that was my problem too, bro. I used to watch that content. forgot uh, who myself was. I agree. Yeah, bro. You can lose yourself in that shit, bro. Easily. It's very easy to lose yourself. But yeah, like I said, though, y'all, when it comes down to the self-improvement, make sure you actually going out there doing shit and applying whatever you're hearing. There's no need for you to be sitting there at your computer watching self-improvement videos all day like this. When are you ever going to actually apply it? Worse, I would trick and delude myself into thinking that watching these videos all day was somehow productive. Again, don't be the not a coffee brewery said, bro, got the phone and iPad. Yup, bro. I, that's why I be having to tell my kids get off of them. I'll tell them go outside and enjoy life. What the hell are y'all doing sitting around in a house on a good day with good weather and stuff? Go outside and play with your friends. Type of guys who watch this type of content and preach on everything. They For me, when I'm watching certain stuff, I take notes since it spurs ideas and then I take time each week to follow up on them. If mm -hmm. my list is full, I don't watch anything new. Well, you can continue to watch things new that if it's, if it's about self-improvement, that's fine. It's just applying it. As long as you apply it, you're fine. But some people would just listen to it. That's it. And don't apply anything. Mighty Flameman said, I've been much more productive uh, not watching uh, productivity content. Gay. Who needs red pill content when I can pay one fiddy to do this? Yo, my nigga. One, one faulty. You know what I'm saying? But still, bro, I fell into the trap of watching and not applying. Yo, well, Mighty Flameman, at, at least you got yourself out of it, though. They say, but don't do shit. Like K Nato said, I've hold on. Nigga said gay. He didn't say that. Yo. Dog. Y'all have to Do you uh, need some money? I know these niggas were bugging when they said women should not go for a career and just have a family like bro. There are women that want to focus on their career and have a family to be happy or have no family and just focus on their career. You should not generalize women and say they should all have a family and bear kids. So Shut your fat ass up. <laughs> I wasn't going to say that, right? So, no. So, I do understand why they preach that, though, right? Because a lot of women, they don't necessarily care about their careers. They do actually want to get taken care of by their man. Gay. That's, That's not... some of these red pill niggas are. <laughs> Bro, no, but but there are a lot of women out there that, that are like that. They want to be able to rely on their man. They want to be able to stay home, take care of the house, make the house into a home. You see what I'm saying? So I do understand why they preach that shit. Now, as far as saying shit like a girl belongs in the kitchen, that's when I think they're wrong. Now, when they say shit like most men don't care about a woman's career, that is true. A lot of men don't because we want to provide for our woman. So we don't necessarily care about how much money she makes. And plus, they're not lying also about um, the hypergamy and about how uh, women that do have like really good jobs and shit like that, they, they usually come with attitudes and things like that. And un like if regular women have unrealistic ex expectations, imagine women who, who are making like six figures and shit. Bro, you got to think about this. A girl that works at McDonald's does not want a man that works at McDonald's for the most part. Now, granted, are you going to find the outliers? Yeah, but those are the outliers. That's not the majority. If a girl makes six figures, she's not looking at a man that makes six figures. Unless she's making a hundred thousand and he's making like seven. I got news for you. That means you're gay. How? How? What about that would make you gay? But look, let me read King Naito's comment. He said, I noticed a lot of these red pill niggas live in a different world compared to average people. Most normal people cannot adopt their mindsets on some on, on some stuff because uh, they ain't got money status and looks like them. 
Well, that's true. Definitely when it comes down to the money, I'll say that. The money aspect, definitely. When it comes down to looks and all other shit, that... Like, bro, you don't understand how much game and charisma and personality will get you. How far how far that'll get you, bro. A lot of niggas underestimate that shit. No, that's about my looks. Yeah, looks catch attention, but personality keeps it. You got to think about it, bro. Why you think so many men talk themselves out of the pussy? If you allow a man, if you allow a man to talk enough, he will always talk himself out the pussy. Doesn't matter. It like if that girl can if that girl likes you, it does not matter. Until you fuck her, do not talk that much cuz every man will talk themselves out the pussy. So. Hold on. Axel Ross said I hate to get all nerdy about it, but statistically speaking, hypergamy isn't really a thing. Most of the population get with people within the same area and uh and classes themselves. Well, yeah, just like even when it comes down to that six six rule that them niggas try to apply. Well, most girls they want a man who's six foot and six inches and uh and, and making six figures. Most men don't have any of that. Gay. <laughs> <laughs> Chill, man. Dog, what the hell, bro? Chill, man. Yo. Man, yo, what the fuck, man? Chill, bruh. Shit, I right, yo, you know what, man? Yo, King Nantel said, how do y'all do 40 bits, 140 bits? I, King Nantel, you know you asking the wrong nigga, but if somebody in here could enlighten him. They all just bite, right, bro. Bite, bro. Like, lead by example. And I got news not for by. That means you're gay. Who, who, and, and who, and why? Gay. Was good, DSG. Yup, yup. Yo, so can we just stop? Gay. Can we stop with the gays? Like, we we gotta stop, y'all. Like, not everything is gay. I'm the nigga who made three videos about not everything is gay, and I yapping. And even then, bro, you shouldn't be you following the exact. I could use it. Thank you, placebo ghost. Thank you. Oh, and Doctor Pollyon said, "Type cheer than forty all together without the quotation marks." That's how you. Bro, when I tell you Gay. I Yo, I was trying to say, yo. Man. Dog, you know what, bro? You know what, man? man. Dact methods and their it's, exact it's, techniques. Y'all not going to let me be able to Don't get me wrong. Working hard for yourself and for the people you Science care about. Science said, thanks for coming out. Fuck you, bro. Cash Exia said, hell, even now I'm shredding documents, doing cleaning, and listening to the stream. Gotta always be multitasking. Facts, bro. Oh, and growing be and productive. learning every single day yeah you should objectively do that like there's no debate there you should objectively be doing that but well, do course. it in the way that best suits you whether that be going to the gym making money or maintaining actual relationships built off of love and not limerence <laughs> there is no one path to getting gays your path <laughs> no path to getting gay Dog, I don't even know how y'all are getting these timings like the way y'all are, bro. How is this happening? Like, no bullshit, bro. No bullshit, bro. What What is going on today, DSG? Because, like, this is crazy. I have never seen the timing. Like, it's usually Shut niggas. Shut your fat ass up. All right. I guess you don't want me to talk. But it's like the timing on these. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll just shut up then, man. That no success way. could be completely different from theirs. <laughs> okay, so what's the moral of the video? I did this one, DSG. I know it, bro. Well, the one thing I want you to take it's away me. from this video... I'm niggas. <laughs> he done made at least a band off our ass. Nigga, it ain't because I'm doing that, though. It ain't me. It ain't me, bro. It's y'all niggas, man. It's to not have 100% of your knowledge. So... Let me show you how easy it is to get banned in here, bro. Immortal God. Look how easy that was to get banned. What, what was the purpose of you coming here saying that, bro? This thing will come in here and just says, shut your dumb ass up for no reason. Now, the only reason, y'all know on the regular with me, DSG. I don't care about comments like that. The only reason why I'm banning him is because obviously he's an internet troll. And y'all internet trolls need to learn y'all place. Now, when I say about your place... The thing is, you only thrive on the internet. You don't talk to people like that in real life because you're a bitch. That's the reason why you're, you're on the internet saying it. So, there you go. You see how fast you got banned? Now, knowing you... Gay. You probably are gay. But knowing you, you, uh, you know what I'm saying? You're, you might make another account just so you can Do come you back... Do you need some money?
rent is due this way he doesn't have to show the infinite suku you owe me anymore or as much. You talking about my hairline, bro? So my hair, my hairline is an infinite Sukuyomi. But yeah, man, look, you internet trolls from now on, I'm just going to ban y'all immediately. Whenever y'all come in here and say really stupid shit, because if I'm gay. I'm, you know what, dog? Man, look, man. Just, I just don't get it, bro. I don't get it. What, what the, what is y'all problem? What is y'all problem today, bro? What, what's, what's, What's going on, bro? Shut your fat ass up. <laughs> this you has need some money. Damn twice. This has to stop, bro. This has to stop. Like, seriously. Gay. Seriously, bro. At some point, y'all gotta chill. Come on, man. Nigga Kane said he getting a headache from laughing so much. Bro, these niggas have had me crying for the last hour, bro. Can Gay. Gay. Can y'all just calm down? Like, just a uh, nigga. We we only five minutes in, y'all. Do you need some money? Niggas can't have nothing nice. Low, 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 low. <laughs> don't ever say low. Oh, I thought you said low. I was about to say, as a man, don't ever say that, bro. I knew it would, Spaceman Kim, but I'm not going to lie. I didn't think it would be like this much. Gay. <laughs> I didn't know it'd be you need some money. I'm only doing this to tell you that you knew this was coming. Let's finish the video, guys. I, I, we gonna try. We gonna try, bro. But Do you need some money. Yo, and my bloods, thank you, bro. Thank you. Yo, <laughs> it's gonna be hard to get through it, but y'all, all right, DSG, we gonna get through this video. We gonna Come make it through. purely from the internet. What do I mean by that? Well, there's knowledge and there's experience. And the thing about knowledge and experience is that the you experience you. Dequan, you only What's have up, yourself bro? to blame. Gum, 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 gum. I I do. The emotes gonna be uh going extreme. Nah, these ain't gay. We making out the hood with this gay. one. They dog chill. Sincere. I do plan on us getting new emotes, but I'm trying to figure out what gay. Um, Gorilla nigga. Y'all, y'all gonna really just overdo that, y'all, nigga. Man, look, man. Yo, I, I'm trying to get at least Ace's face as an emote. I know that's one emote that I definitely want Ace his face. So we, Gay. so we going trying to see if we could, we could do that, man. All right. So yeah. All right, man. You know what, DSG? Shut your fat ass up. Can, can y'all just stop for like a second? Shut the fuck up! <laughs> you gave us Christmas gifts. Uh, very late Christmas gifts. So let's 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 get back to this video because I think what he was saying is some real shit about experience versus knowledge. Like I said, you can be as knowledgeable as you want about certain things. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> if you want me to just play the video, just say that. I, I got y'all because y'all clearly do not want me to talk anymore. I, you know, Shut the fuck up! <laughs> All right, I, I'll shut up then. I to gain knowledge. You can't have experience without knowledge coming with it. But knowledge can come before experience. Facts. In fact, sometimes you don't even need experience to have knowledge in some cases. So you can have knowledge without experience, gain. but you can't have... Y'all really need help. Like, seriously, y'all... Bro, y'all really need help. What up, Black Ninja? What's good, man? Have experience without knowledge. Gay. You follow me? would love this stream. I could see that. I could see that, bro. The point I'm trying to Y'all have to chill with this bro. is that to be the best version of yourself, you have to balance the avenues in which you, you gain need some money. knowledge from. Now Just you give us all this power and expect us not to use it. Act I like you've been here on this is DSG. Bro, I you need some money. I expect, I expect y'all to use it, but goddamn, bro. My nigga, we haven't gone like I don't think we've gone an actual minute without like y'all doing it, bro. I, I need one, like, just give me, like, two minutes, bro. Two Do you minutes. need some money? Freak Mill would love this stream. Freak Mill. You, just give me two minutes, bro. Gain some knowledge from two here, minutes, knowledge from there, and knowledge from here, and you'll two be minutes. able to grow as a person much more efficiently. And some people prefer getting more knowledge from experience <laughs> than actual... In my blunts, thank you for that gifted to my nigga Fat Greninja. Nigga, in my blunts, 530 gifted. So thank you, my nigga. Appreciate you, bro. Well, knowledge from 530? others. 530? Thank you. Don't waste gay. Queef. 
Don't waste gay. Yo, this is why I'm saying y'all got it too. So so look at this, right? It's better to experience yourself uh, than to learn from others. Just don't uh, grow arrogant and ignore the input from others entirely. This is some real shit. This is why when I tell y'all all of the time, when it comes to women, gay. Y'all gotta stop, man. Y'all gotta stop, bro. Y'all gotta stop, man. Dog, look. That's why I keep telling y'all, when it comes to women, you need to go out there and experience them yourself. No matter what pickup lines or anything that you learn, you will not know how to even put that shit together or the way you gay. Or the way you should say that shit until you get out there and do it. You may hear a, a nigga say a line that you like, yo, I got to use that. And guess what? It may not work for you because in your experience, it just didn't work. It worked in his experience. Don't try to live vicariously through any other nigga. Gay. It would be gay to live vicariously through another nigga. Can y'all just, can we just stop like a second? Like I said, just a second, bro. But yeah, man, you need to experience things yourself rather than trying to live through others' experience. <laughs> Don't waste time doing degenerate shit and try to justify it by saying that I did it for the experience. Because trust me, ask anyone who did it for the experience, they'll all tell you that it's just a massive waste of time doing Get degenerate it. shit for the experience. Because if you do something degenerate Stop. for the experience, you either end up not liking it, which is bad, or you end up liking it and your life goes spiraling down, which is also bad. True, but at the same time, like when I tell y'all niggas all the time, do not go out there and sleep with so many women, regardless of how much I say that, for the niggas who ain't sleeping with a lot of women, you're going to want to do that shit. You're going to want to, like, I, you're going to want to, but don't do that type of shit, please, man. Just, like, I'm trying to tell you, when when you do that shit, it, it, it doesn't really get you anywhere. You waste a whole bunch of time, and you have all of these women that just experience you, and nothing came from it. There is no good outcomes here. All you do is waste your time. Down to giving Note that I said degenerate, degenerate gay, shit, not just Degenerate live. gay? out your life you can live life without doing Just degenerate shit like second. has anyone told you that it is possible whoa what, what are you talking about there are other things to watch that exists no. you're lying no you're lying not bro no. this actually just happened with um the girl with Norder wick she said that Norder wick is lame because he doesn't drink or smoke giving into degenerate tendencies and saying that you're lame for not doing it you're lying you're lying. No. You're lying. Going out and doing degenerate shit, saying that you did it for the experience, is just a massive cope, bro. But equally as bad is having all your knowledge come from these creators. You can have all the knowledge of the world, all the knowledge of the internet, but if you don't go out and experience it, try to apply it, is it any valuable? All that knowledge? These creators don't live the same life you do. Their circumstances, experiences, and scenarios were completely different from yours. You can plan a pretty picnic, but you can't predict the weather. I know that's that's some real shit, because even when it comes down to like Andrew Tate, the things that he says about women, the things that uh a lot of these red pill niggas say, bro, you can't think that's gonna happen to you just because you listen to what they said. You're not them. Thank me personally i started to shift towards the experience now learn later side of the spectrum you'll probably be able to tell from my older videos that i'd always actually Ralph said if i wasn't broke right now you'd catch my ass in them strip clubs going crazy but why though Axel Ralph said it is what it is but what do you but what would, what would be the purpose of you going into the uh, strip club and, and handing your money out to girls that clearly want nothing from you but your money would it like if you go in there to do like what Kevin Samuels used to do, he said he'd just go in there and learn game from women. That's it. Now, if you do that, that's a little different. Let's say you go inside of a, a, a strip club and you get a girl in the back and you talk, you tell her straight up, look, I don't even want a, a, a lap dance. I just need you to talk to me about some shit. That's it. That's a little different. You know what I'm saying? Rather than you saying, all right, here's all of this money just so you can dance on me and I can go home and beat my dick to the fact that you danced on me. Always try to encapsulate the kind of vibe and energy of these other creators. I spent so long trying to be like them without ever realizing that me trying to copy them will only result in me becoming a cheaper version of them. But when it's all said and done, I'm still. Axel Rouse said he was in there fucking for eighty dollars. You wildin', bro? You were definitely wildin', but yeah, just chill out on that, bro. 
chill out on that. Stop going to so many strip clubs and fucking strippers. And June said, if I wasn't broke right now, I'd be hanging out to my friends and pulling girls. I Do you need some money? I can relate to him. If as I a Muslim, broke, a lot of people look at money. my lifestyle as boring because I don't smoke, drink or go to the club or even party. It's actually crazy. Especially non-Muslims. Well, like, Demir, you, you got to think about it. Be honest with yourself. Do you live a boring lifestyle? And it's not. Where's the N-words? Daquan's hairline, nigga. Thank you for the 10 months, bro. Appreciate you, my nigga. But no, Demir, do, not because you don't drink a smoke or club, but do you live a boring lifestyle? Be honest with yourself. It's your birthday. You're watching a stream. Do you live a boring lifestyle? You have to know that. Like with me, if someone were to say, yo, Daquan, because you don't go out, you live a boring lifestyle. I wouldn't say that that is what makes my lifestyle boring. You, Where's the N-words? Yo, Marzi, man, thank you for the 13 months. Appreciate you, my nigga. But you know what makes my life boring? The shit that I do on a daily basis. Bro, all I do is go to the gym, take my kids to school. Gay. There's nothing gay about that. Nothing gay about that. I take care of my kids. I stream. I shoot videos, edit them, and everything like that. It's a pretty boring lifestyle. What girl finds that appealing? Where's the N-words? Mystic Vortex, thank you for the five months. We haven't met in real life yet, but you my nigga for real. Thank you, bro. You my nigga too, bro. WDSG, uh, stop beating your meat, y'all. Hey, I try to put niggas on to it. A lot of niggas don't want to listen to me. Oh, man, I'm still beating my shit. All right, that's wonderful. And you're going to continue to beat your shit, and I'm going to continue to get my shit beat by other bitches. And fucking them. Uh, Red Bull just said, adult life is boring. The fuck do I do? It is for the most part. I'm not going to act like it is. But um, you're the U.S. Truly TV show. Thank you for that gifted. Appreciate you, bro. But the thing is, um, your life, it's only boring once Shut your fat ass up. Your life, look, man. Your life will be boring while you're on your journey to find uh, your purpose and while you're on your journey to become successful. The reason why my life is boring is because of that. Now, granted, I still do things. I go out with my friends every now and then. Y'all clearly see I drink. I hang out with people and shit like that. But nah, bro. Right now, my life needs to be boring. Do you know what being boring is bringing me? You know how much money I'm making off of being bored? It don't matter. I'm cool with that. But that's because I need to chase success. I need to secure a future for my family and my, my kids, myself, and everything like that. So I'm cool with being... Yeah. I'm definitely cool with being a nigga. You already know that. Thank you, I.O. Sand. I'm cool with that. Gay. I'm cool with gays too, bro. You know what I'm saying? Hey, if, if that's your lifestyle, that's just what you chose. But yes, Antonio said life gets a lot more fun when you have um, more financial freedom. That's what I'm saying. Look, I don't, I don't determine success by how much money you have. I determine success by how much freedom you have. That's If you ask me, that is what success is. Freedom. To be able to do whatever you want. No matter how much money you've made, if you have freedom, then you've succeeded. That's how I see it, at least. Um, Lil Sleek said that Quan said uh, he was going to start making content. What the hell are you talking about? I have been making content. What the fuck? Uh, Lil Crazy Angel said uh, people um, think uh, a person is boring simply because they don't want to do what that person like doing. Live your life and live smart. Like I said, I'm, what I'm talking about about being boring right now is just when you're trying to chase a dream or success, things like that, or you're on your self-improvement journey, it may be a little boring, but you just got to deal with that. It is what it is. I promise you, once you've reached your peak of success, all this other shit, you know, improvement and everything like that, your life will not be boring. The coffee brewery said three years, no fat, four years, no tap. And to be honest, I'm not urging for it after uh, so long, you don't really miss it that much. I ain't gonna lie, that's a little gay. Like, I ain't gonna lie. That's, I wish... See, now would have been a time where somebody should have said gay. Because, yeah, I ain't going to lie, bro. Like, four years, no fat, I mean, that's good. Before, I mean, three years, no fat, good. Four years, no tapping, you, get the fuck out of here. Miss the shit. I'm, nigga, you got me fucked up. Do I'm, you need some money? Most of my days are spent going to the gym and hanging out with people. I also travel a lot. But when I tell people I don't smoke or go to the club, it's like they look at you as if you're weird. And I got news for you. That means you're gay. Bro, yo, dog. <laughs> no, it doesn't, bro. But shit, nigga. I ain't gonna lie, bro. That was a good one. That was a good one, bro. Nigga, that was good. That was good. Oh my god, bro. 
Oh my God. Nah, bro. These sound effects are going to get too crazy, bro. They are. I know it, bro. Shit, man. Yo, that was good with our buddy. I ain't going to lie. That was good, bro. <laughs> I got news for you because of that. Oh my God. That was perfect. That was perfect. Hold on. Let me see this. Sai Samba said, that ties into the money doesn't buy happiness convo. In my opinion, because money uh, may not buy happiness per se, but it definitely takes stress off of your life and allows uh, allows you to find what makes you happy. I mean, what makes you happy easier. What the fuck? What makes you happier easier and gives. Okay, I'm, punctuation isn't there. What makes you happier, I'm guessing, makes your life easier and gives you freedom to find happiness within yourself. Yes, I tell people all the time, bro, money does buy happiness. Do you know why? You'll be happy if you're free. That money is going to buy that freedom. Yes, money does buy happiness. People just don't make enough of it. I'm trying to tell you, bro. It's so easy to say money doesn't buy happiness when you've never had enough money to buy you happiness. Once you are able to um, obtain that much money, I promise you, you mean to tell me it's, it's plenty of y'all niggas in here right now saying shit like, I'm broke, I gotta do this, I gotta do that. If I drop $50 million on you right now, you ain't gonna be happy as shit? Nigga, you mean to tell me you still gonna be sitting there sad or oh, I'm broke? The fuck? You gonna be like, nigga, I got $50 million. Fuck everything. Nigga, I'm happy as shit. Nigga, all your problems are gonna be solved. You're gonna be able to do whatever the fuck you want. That's what I'm saying. Freedom will definitely bring you happiness. You know what's gonna bring you that freedom? Money. So in turn, money bought you happiness. It is what it is, nigga. Like I'm trying to tell y'all, bro, a lot of niggas just don't make enough. If you are free to do whatever it is that you want, that will definitely make you happy. And the only way you're going to be able to do that is if you make enough money to be able to do that. I'm so very grateful that I had a whole phase of being a D1 glazer of these type of creators. A D1 glazer. And I look to the sky and I think, maybe it's all going to be okay. Sincere, chill out, bro. Maybe it won't. Who knows? I spent. Sai Simon said, nah, the richest people in the world uh, say they're miserable all the time. Not the richest people in the world, no. Nigga, they got to keep working and shit, then you see them say that. The people, like, say, for instance, you... Nigga, nigga, the richest people? Shit. The richest? I've never seen Jeff Bezos say that. I've never seen Elon Musk say that. I've never My life was boring when I was saving up for a car. I barely no. went out. I didn't visit my friends in no. college. I even missed out on some coochie to save money. But now I, the hard part is over. I can slowly get myself together and start going out more. Get yours full together first, then have fun. And I got news for you. That means you're gay. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> bro, I don't know how you keep time and he's like this hard already. Chill, bro. Nah, so look, King Nato. You need some money. I <laughs> live by myself and stay busy working Monday through Yo, bro, Friday. What? Sometimes work one oh Saturday God. a month. <laughs> I get drunk on Fridays, go out with my friends on Saturday and do yeah. my musician job at church on Sundays. I know I have a lot of bills at the time, yeah. but I always make time to have fun. Well, that's good. You definitely want to enjoy life. Now, look, King Nile tells. And I got news for you. That means you're gay. No, it doesn't, bro. Take it hard already. Chill, nigga. Let niggas. And I got news for you. That means you're gay. It doesn't. Let niggas live. Y'all chill, bro. Look. So King Nile said, the hard part is over. You can slowly get your life together and start going out more. The thing is, King Nile tells, I want you to understand this, right? Start going out more. Okay, you can do that, but will you genuinely enjoy yourself? I'm. Hold on. On light, yeah, I mean, I'm focused on getting a better job and securing a more comfortable lifestyle, so it's a little boring. Like right now, from a logical standpoint, from my 21st birthday, I'm working. Mm. But honestly, I am trying to keep my focus strong and not fuck up. Yeah, nah, that's a good, that's a good mentality. Like I said, but with King Nine Tails, right? Listen to this, bro. And I got news for you. That means you're gay. So you gotta stop, man. Do you need some money? <laughs> Yo, stop, y'all. Yo, just chill for a second. So look, King Nine Tails, the thing is this, right? You said you got the hard part over, so now you can go out. Okay, think about this, though, King Nine Tails. When you go out, can you say that I'm um, gay? Yo, I'm done with y'all niggas, bro. Like, that's certain, bro. I need about tree fitting. That's may, that may be what King Nine tells me. Yo, Mike McBilly, think of it a tree fitting. Yo, so so look, man. 
King Nine Tails, what I'm saying is this, right? Because this one thing I had to learn when I started making a lot of money. I'm not going to hold you, bro. One thing I learned about um, having real money is this. You think that just because you start making a good amount that, you know, you're able to enjoy life. So I was a, I was able to be financially free in my area at the peak of my content creation as far as because of the money I was making. But the thing is, I wasn't doing things, you know what I'm saying, at... I wasn't doing everything to the fullest because I just didn't have the money to do that. I had the financial freedom to do a lot, but not to do everything to the fullest. So St. Francis. Gay. <laughs> Yo, St. Francis, somebody like Fresh and somebody like Myron, right? If them niggas want to do anything, they can do it at any given moment. This is what I mean. You talk about going out. King Nan says, what about going on vacations? You see what I'm saying? And I got news for you. That means you're gay. That does not mean you're gay, bruh. That does not mean you're gay. <laughs> Yo, so King Nan tells, that's what I mean. Instead of going out, imagine you saying, I can go on a vacation any time I want. You talk about getting the hard part out the way. You need to get the hard part out the way so you're able to do things like that. Say, for instance, King Nan tells, look at the car you just bought. You bought what you could. Did you just buy your dream car? So you still have a lot more to go. You still have a whole lot more to go. The hard part still ain't out the way. Niggas like fresh. Buying luxury cars every other month. Myron, this is what I'm saying about financial freedom. I started thinking financial freedom was me being able to go in the mall and buy anything I want. This thing of Myron can go to a neighborhood and buy any house he wants. The fuck am I doing over there thinking that this is financial freedom because you can go in the mall and buy anything? No. Financial freedom is being being able to go inside of neighborhoods and being able to buy any house you want. Nigga, go over there looking at yachts, buying any yacht you want. Things like that. So K-9 tells, just start thinking about it like that, bro. That hard part is still not out the way. And yeah. continue. Yo, Derek Uzumaki, thank you for the two gifts, my nigga. I appreciate you, bro. But but King Nantos, I got news for you. That means you're gay. King Nine tells, I was not trying to call you gay. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got to chill, bro. But yeah, King Nine tells, just know that. Move forward in life with that mentality, and that's going to really keep, you know what I'm saying, you on your toes, bro. Keep that fire burning. You see what I'm saying? All right, seconds. Right now, think about how comfortable you may end up getting saying to yourself, I'm, I've awarded myself the freedom to just go out. Go out and do what, though? K9 tells, you mean to tell me you don't want to have a night like you see in movies where you go out and you can buy the whole bar out for everybody? You don't want to be able to just, I'm just saying, that that may, may not be something you want to do, but I'm saying, you, you, know, you, you see what I'm saying? Just going out there and enjoy life to the full on fullest, bro. That's what I mean, bro. This type of content, but now it's my time to try and apply what I learned. And most importantly, gain more knowledge myself through my own experiences. Because at the end of the day, we're all just humans learning and growing all at the same time on the same space rock. The time for me to live out my life, to live out my own story, has been a little sleek. No, I'm not starting no goddamn OnlyFans. A long time coming. And the same goes for you. Hey, you don't don't understand. For you. Tell them to bring me my money. Yeah! 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 I got you. Uh, I see what you mean. I would say self improvement takes a long time, but uh, it's worth it. And it definitely is King Nantel. <laughs> Oh, well, shout out to him, bro. Let me see uh, who bro is, man. Yo, bro, ain't no fucking way, boy. Really? Yo, shout, shout out shout out to Milo. That was actually a good video. Shout out to him, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to him, bro. That was a good video. It's the reason why a lot of people should stop watching that, uh, that Red Pill content, for real. Like I said, when it, anything about self-improvement, you want to watch that, watch that. But other than that, man, that Red Pill stuff will really make you hate women. Yeah, you definitely got to chill on that. That shit will make you hate women. So, self-improvement, uh, a marathon, not a race. Facts, Michael McMillie. Facts, bro. Facts.